In this video, I show you how to add Fibaro Kifab to Fibaro Home Center and how you can use it. Stay with me to find out. By the way, do not forget to subscribe my channel to see more videos about Z-Wave products. In order to add Fibaro Kifab to Fibaro Home Center in Fibaro, we go to Devices, click Add or Remove Device, into Add Device You Should section by clicking on Add, Fibaro Home Center enters Inclusion Mode and it gets ready to add Z-Wave devices to it for 30 seconds. In this video, I increase the duration of learning mode to 60 seconds. While Fibaro Home Center is in inclusion mode by triple click of any button in Fibaro Kifab, in Fibaro Kifab the remote will be added to Z-Wave network. Have in mind that the battery must be new. Okay, let's click on add. Home center is in learning mode. Any button must be clicked three times. Green LED indicates that the inclusion is successful. We must wait till home center finishes configuration. Device configuration finished. Let's go to devices page. Kifab is added and is displayed in home center. By clicking on wrench, we go to the setting of Kifab. In general section, scrolling down, you can see the sign of buttons. There are one click. I click the square button once. Fibaro Home Center shows that. I click the same button twice. Home Center does not show that. By default, one click of any button and holding is activated. In order to activate double click or triple click, we must go to the setting of Kifab in Fibaro Home Center advanced section scrolling down parameter 21 22 23 24 25 26 you can activate each button's option as i mentioned by default key pressed one time, key hold down and released is activated. By selecting key pressed two times, key pressed three times for each button, you can activate full options. To explain more, to explain more, parameter 25 is related to scene activation for minus button. This parameter determines which actions result in sending assigned scenes IDs and attributes to the controller. Okay. After selecting them. I click save. Device must be woken up. 
in order to enter the menu of Kifo, circle button and minus must be clicked simultaneously. By clicking X sign, the color of LED is changed. Yellow is for resetting. Green for removing. Cyan is for checking the level of battery. And white is for adding the device to any Z-Wave network or waking it up. By clicking plus button, selection is confirm. Right. Let's go to the setting of Kifa. From this page, we can set scenes for buttons. For example, a square clicking once. I click plus sign in front of a square sign I click the device for then action then click next I want to set the level of dimmer to 100 next I click a square button once. Let's wake up the device. Again, I click the square button once. Nothing happened. After changing the setting of parameter 22 to 20, six now i double click the square button you can see that fibaro shows the action the x button three times Let's go to the setting of Kifa. And then I add an action for circle button clicking once. As you can see, it does not perform the action. Okay, I remove the setting. Let's use Kifab in scenes. In scene section, I click add scene. I click add on add magic scene. Select the device for if condition. I select Kifab for if condition. Next step is selecting a condition that must be met to perform a scene. Let's select a square button clicking two times. Next, select the device for <coughs> then action. Next, turn off. Now I set a name for the magic. 
by clicking on save scene will be set let's test it dimmer is on I click the square button twice dimmer is set to off so in scenes you can use fibar kifab reliably let's add another scene add magic scene select the kifab for if condition then click next let's choose x sign clicking three times I click next for action I select the dimmer select setting the level of dimmer to 10 percent click next let's set a name for magic 10 percent dimmer save okay if I click the X button three times the dimmer is set to 10 percent one two three let's talk about other options of the key file. by going to the setting of key file, scrolling down general section at the bottom of the page you can choose buttons to create sequence create your own sequence consisting of two or five buttons remember that creating a sequence of button may delay response to a single button event I click plus and minus minus then plus then click at new sequence adding a sequence requires waking up the device for waking up the device minus and circle button must be clicked simultaneously selecting white color of the LED then plus button must be clicked now the sequence is set let's run a scene for this sequence I have created in the scenes action in scenes section I click on add scene in the add magic scene I click on add select the key fob for if condition select sequence one then click next select the device for then action choose setting the level to 20 to 80 percent then click save 80 percent dimmer save let's test the sequence minus then plus dimmer is set to 80 percent you can add six sequences to the key fob another option the key fob offers is locking by going to the setting of key fob in advanced section you can set the lock device lock configuration by default is off you can turn it on easily you can set time to lock the key fob or 
by clicking buttons you can lock the key fob in this video I turn on the lock key I select the X button by holding down the X button the key fob will be locked for unlocking the key fob a sequence is needed I click on configure select circle and square to unlock the key fob click on confirm now it's time to click on save now you can see that a lock sign is added to KeyFob in Fibaro Home Center KeyFob is working now I press and hold X button KeyFob is locked I press the plus button Fibaro does not show anything let's unlock the device the key fob for unlocking I set a sequence circle button and a square button circle button a square button the key fob is unlocked now you can see that it works You can easily use KeyFob to run scenes on or control your devices in Fibaro Home Center. If you have any question, do not hesitate to leave comments. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Goodbye.